Welcome to battle number three of set number two of the FNF Orberg Gate preseason draft league playoffs. This is going to be the third battle of the set between Lion Hugs, two blooper to blooper, versus Drizzle Boy, which is Croatian Bidus. If you haven't seen the first two battles already, I encourage you to do so. Um, this will be spoilers, obviously. But the score is 1-1, so the winner of this one takes all. We do have some changes to both teams. We have Teddy Ursa and Joltik coming in, replacing Meryl and Vibrava. So now the only Z-Pokemon on Lionhug's team is Seviper with Z-Attack. We also have Slurpuff replacing Coughing on Drizzle Boy's team, and he still has his two Z-Pokemon, which are Bidoof with Z-Any and Pukumuku with Z-Attack. It does look like Bidoof tapped into a more defensive playstyle last time, which helped him out. Slurpuff can run defensive. I'm not sure if he has it defensive this time, but it'll be interesting to see how he utilizes it. Teddy Ursa could definitely act as a good wall breaker with Guts, but there's a lot of fast Pokemon that can take advantage of the fact that it's quite slow. And Joltik will be an interesting one as well. I think that Lionhug's probably packing in Joltik to deal with Pukumuku. So we'll see how this battle goes. It'll definitely be an interesting one and one to remember. Both of these trainers trying to get into that next round of playoffs. So let's see how this one goes. All right, and starting off, we have Rain the uh, Teddy Ursa versus God the Bidoof. The uh, is it Ryan or Rain? I think it's Rain or Ryan. No, it's Ryan. Ryan is going to protect and get Toxic, and the close combat's going to do pretty big damage. Fifty-five percent to God the Bidoof, and Bidoof goes for the Yawn, but it's not going to work because Ryan's already Toxic. So hashtag Morgana the Swirlix comes in to take that close combat. It's only going to do 10%. Really little damage coming out. Um, I'm interested as to why. I guess there's a lot of defensive investment in these Pokemon. Double Trouble comes out and in comes Bidoof to receive that wish. But Double Trouble goes for the Sludge Bomb and it's enough to take down Bidoof. The score is now 6-5. OP, the Pikachu comes out and a Volt Tackle is enough to take down Double Trouble as it goes down to 46%. Ryan comes in, it is Toxic, and the Extreme Speed brings Ryan down to 25%. Ryan is able to hit back with a Facade, taking Pikachu out, and the score is 5 4. Ryan is now at 19% and Toxic. Morgana, the Swirlix, comes out. And a facade's going to do about 37% to Morgana, who proceeds to Wish. I do think that this is maybe a Quick Feet Ryan instead of a Guts Ryan. Guillotine 2020 comes out to face Morgana, who sets up another Wish. And the Wish is going to be successful. Guillotine 2020 now free to go for a knockoff. Hashtag Noob Scrub the Pukumuku comes in. And it's actually Toxic and not Knockoff as he used. An interesting choice. Definitely good to beat these Stally Pokemon. And Shulk the Joltik comes out. Purify not going to work. And Noob Scrub the Pukumuku takes some toxic damage. Volt Switch is going to do decent damage. 34% to Noob Scrub the Pukumuku as Ponyard comes in. And again, Purify is not going to work. Um, I think Drizzle Boy might be thinking that it works on himself, but that's refreshed. Purify only works on the opponent. So Cheerleader the Sneasel comes in versus Shulk the Joltik, but Ponyard is going to come in instead, and a knockoff is going to do decent damage, 40%, removing Eviolite as well, so Sneasel's hitting really hard, and a Sucker Punch is going to do decent damage to Sneasel, who retaliates with the Brick Break, taking down Ponyard, and the score is now 4-4. Four, four. In comes Ryan the Teddy Ursa, and Sneasel switches out into Swirlix, who seems to be acting as a really capable wall. Close combat, not going to do a lot, and Ryan is going to be poisoned down to 1% now. Morgana, the Swirlix, sitting pretty comfortably. Glimmer, the Clefairy, comes out, and in comes Sneasel to receive that wish. Glimmer is calm mining up, but Sneasel might know Poison Jab to take care of Clefairy. Indeed, we do see the Poison Jab, it brings Clefairy down to 23%. 
and the Moonblast is enough to take down Shaylita, the smear, uh, the Sneasel. Score is now 4-3, Clefairy looking pretty scary. Blame me, the Magmar comes out. Flamethrower not enough to take down Glimmer as it hangs on at 1%, but it does go for that soft boil. So Glimmer is going to be able to continue soft boiling, and a substitute is now up. One more soft boil brings Glimmer back to its full health, and I'm assuming we'll see Glimmer starts to calm mind up again. Actually, no, we see Psychic break that substitute. Another substitute's going to form on that Magmar, and Calm Mind begins to add up again. Another Flamethrower, not going to do much damage due to that Calm Mind special defense boost, and Glimmer is starting to look pretty scary again. Flamethrower only doing 50% now, and Glimmer going for some more Calm Minds. A critical hit could end this, though. So, oh, and it does! The critical hit takes out Clefairy. That could be game-defining. Flamethrower is going to take down Shulk the Joltik as well. And now the score is 2-3. Ryan hanging on at 1%. It is able to break the substitute with Facade, but it goes down to that poison damage in the last play on Ponyta. I don't think poison, uh, Ponyta is going to be able to break through Pukumuku or Swirlix. High Horsepower is able to take down Magmar, but we do see two very bulky Pokemon left with Wish and Recover, respectively. Morgana, the Swirlix, comes out, and High Horsepower not going to do a lot to Morgana, who proceeds to Heal Bell, curing the Toxic from Pukumuku. High Horsepower is still not doing a lot of damage, as Toxic is now on Swift Wind. It's now a matter of time while Swirlix continues to just go for that Wish. And indeed, we see the first wish come up. High horsepower is going to miss. And Morgana, the Swirlix, is looking really comfortable right now. I don't think that Ponyta is going to be able to break through this Swirlix. Yeah, high horsepower barely doing any damage at this point. 1% on Swift Wind as it barely hangs on. And Puku Muku comes out to take that final high horsepower and swift wind is going to be defeated by that poison and the score is 2-0 drizzle boy and croatian bidoofs being victorious and the overall set score is 2-1 with drizzle boy again being victorious over lion hugs two whooper two blooper a good set nonetheless really strong strategies from both sides i think definitely tapping into that stall core Picking up on the fact that Lion Hugs Pokemon weren't necessarily good at breaking through stall um, really was good for Drizzle Boy in this last match, especially with the addition of Sw Swirlix. Um, of course, that critical hit was pretty game defining. I think that if Lion Hugs was a little bit more comfortable soft boiling up, it would have been maybe a little bit different. But yeah, really interesting match there between both of them. And Drizzle Boy is going to advance into the semifinals of the playoffs of Orberg Gate. Lion Hugs having a really good run in the regular season, getting first seed. So even though they're out of playoffs now, still a really impressive performance overall. And Drizzle Boy is showing he's got the chops. So next week, stay tuned to see me face Drizzle Boy in semifinals. It's going to be a very interesting match. And stay tuned for some more playoffs week one. We still have two more quarterfinals set coming up. Until then, this is Noel from my Cornet. See you then.